In this video, we are going to look at an example on the application of Bayes' rule and the total probability rule. So we have a rating analyst who's assessing the default risk of an issuer's long-term bond. The analyst hypothesizes that the economic condition is one of the factors that will influence the default risk of the bond. So there is a 60% probability that the economy will worsen. And of course, there is a 40% probability that the economy does not worsen. Now, given that the economy worsens, there is a 75% probability that the issuer will default on the bond payments. And if the economy does not worsen, there is a 30% probability that the issuer will default on the bond payments. Question A, calculate the probability that the issuer will default on the bond payments. And B, if the issuer defaults, what is the probability that the economy worsens? Now we'll start to draw the tree diagram and uh, we'll start off from the probability that the economy will worsen. So let's start to draw. So we have uh, the first part of the tree where the economy will worsen. So we'll denote this as, so the probability that the economy will worsen will be 0 0.6, okay, or 60%. And there is a probability that the economy will not worsen. We denote that by W complement, or there's a C sub, uh, superscript here. So that will be 1 minus 0 0.6, uh, which is 0 0.4. Okay, take note that the total probability of events have to sum up to 1. Then, if the economy worsens, this is the conditional probability, there is a 75%, so there is a probability that the default will happen given that the economy worsens, that is 0 0.75. So on the other hand, there will be a 25% or 0 0.25 probability that the issuer will not default given that the economy worsens. Now for the second bullet point, if the, if the economy does not worsen, there is a 30% probability that the issuer will default. So that will be the next part. So let me draw that here. So this is a probability that the default will happen given that the economy did not worsen. That is 0 0.3. So there will be a 70% chance or a 0 0.7 probability that the issuer will not default given that the economy does not worsen. Now, once we have this, we'll look at question A, calculate the probability that the issuer will default on the bond payments. So they are looking at the probability of default. And this is irregardless of whether the economy worsens or not. So we'll have to take the weighted average okay, of these events. That means uh, we will find the probability that the issuer defaults under a scenario of a worsening economy and under a scenario where economy did not worsen. Now, there are four paths on this tree. There's path one, two, three, and four. Now, out of these four paths, which one indicates that the issuer defaults? Okay, that's path one and path three. Okay, or for these two paths, it indicates that there is a default. Okay, and the other two, event two and path two and four, indicates no default. So we'll have to find the probability that uh, the, the economy worsens and there is a default. So that will require us to take the conditional probability that issuer will default given the worsening in the economy multiplied by the probability that the economy will worsen. So that will be 0 0.75 times 0 0.6. That gives us 0 0.45. So this, there is a 45% chance that the economy worsens and issuer defaults. And of course, I can continue to calculate for path 2 as well, although we don't need it for this question, but we can still calculate that. So issuer does not default and economy worsens. So that will be 0 0.25 times 0 0.6, that is 0 0.15. And for path 3, uh, this is the probability that issuer defaults and economy does not worsen. That will be 0 0.3, the conditional probability, 
times the probability that economy does not worsen, that is 0 0.12. And lastly, we have the probability that the issuer does not default and economy does not worsen. So that would be 0 0.7 times 0 0.4, that would be 0 0.28. So we are looking for the probability that the issuer defaults. So for part A, the probability that the issuer defaults will be equals to the probability that the issuer defaults and economy worsens, plus the probability that issuer defaults and economy does not worsen. Now, if you look at these two, okay, this is actually the total probability rule. And we can rewrite this in terms of the conditional probabilities. So for the first term, this can be rewritten as uh, this formula here. This is the probability of a default given that economy worsens times the probability that uh, economy worsens plus the probability that the issuer defaults given that economy did not worsen times the probability that the economy did not worsen. Right, so this is a total probability rule, which is just the sum of the probability in path 1 and path 3. So that will be 0 0.45 plus 0 0.12, which is equals to 0 0.57. So that is a 57% chance or probability that the issuer will default on the bond payments. Lastly, for question B, if the issuer defaults, so this is the conditional event, what is the probability that the economy worsens? So we are looking for the probability that economy worsens if the issuer defaults, okay, or given that the issuer defaults. By the definition of our conditional probability, so this would be equals to the probability that the economy worsens and the issuer defaults, divided by the probability that the issuer defaults. And uh, to get the Bayes rule, what we need to do is for the numerator, we need to express it in terms of the conditional probability. And for this part here in the numerator, this is the probability that the issuer defaults given that the economy worsens, okay, which we have here, multiplied by the probability that the economy worsens, divided by the probability that the issuer defaults. Now, how do we get these components? Okay, we already have it within our calculation earlier. So the probability that the economy worsens and the issuer defaults is 0 0.45, which is path 1. Okay, and uh, the denominator is the probability that the issuer defaults, which we calculated in part A using the total probability rule, which in fact is just the sum of path 1 and path 3. So the answer here will be 0 0.45 divided by the sum, okay, which is uh, 0 0.45 plus 0 0.12, okay, that's 0 0.57. But if I want to write it in another way, I can write it as 0 0.45 plus 0 0.12. So in fact, we are just calculating a ratio here. The ratio that there will be a default and economy worsens out of the entire probability that the issuer will default. Okay, so that will give us 0 0.7895 okay which is a 78.95% or 79% probability that the economy will worsen if the issuer defaults